About 20 candidates made the demand at a news conference after nearly 40% of the country's vote had been counted. 16 of them signed a declaration saying the move would prevent unrest. The candidates are protesting what they say was a fraudulent electoral process. The electoral process that has been going on since 30 September 2015 has revealed serious organizational deficiencies, multiple irregularities and intimidations in the electoral process and manipulation to fundamentally question the sincerity, the transparency and the credibility of the ballot. Results have trickled in slowly, but with 40% of the vote counted, former Prime Minister Faustin Arshanj Taudera was leading, followed by another former Prime Minister, Anis St. Georges. The serious failures which tarnish the ongoing electoral operations will lead to the rejection of the results by the population, leading irrevocably to new unrest in the country. Mainly Muslim rebels from a group called the Seleka seized power in the majority Christian nation in early 2013, provoking reprisals from Christian anti peleka militia and a cycle of religious and intercommunal killings. Voting took place on the 30th of December, with UN troops guarding polling stations. The national authority of the elections has received multiple pressures. And what pressures are they? Internal, external, everybody knows it. The candidates are vying to replace interim leader Catherine Sambapanza and are likely to go to a runoff on January the 31st. Susan Mongeli, CCTV. Well, let's get to you more on this now. From CCTV's Kofa Marenje, live for us in the CAR capital of Bangui. Kofa, of course, we're looking at quite a large number of presidential candidates that are saying that uh, these uh, elections have uh, shown some irregularities. What's the latest on this, and has there been any reaction from the country's elections authority? Well, we uh, understand that uh, for the better part of uh, yesterday, uh, those presidential candidates uh, had been holding uh, meetings and consultations uh, about this issue. And uh, they say they want uh, the uh, vote counting and tallying uh, to be stopped, saying uh, it was uh, the election was uh, full of uh, irregularities. However, we've been talking to the people here and they say, yes, there might have been uh, a problem uh, uh, with the organization of the election uh, and probably also a, a few issues here and there during the voting day itself. However, that does not warrant uh, that uh, the counting and tiling process uh, be stopped. They say uh, those are just voices of people uh, who do not want uh, to concede uh, defeat. Uh, however, there's been uh, no official uh, communication from the Electoral Commission on uh, ex exactly what's going to happen. Uh, and we are also trying to see what actions exactly those uh, candidates might take uh, if the counting and tiling process uh, is not stopped. Well, as you said, there, those candidates held their own meetings over the course of the day yesterday. And one of the issues that they raised is that if vote counting is not stopped and that uh, the outcome of the, of the elections is handed out to the public, they fear that the public will reject whatever results the election committee or elections authority um, does eventually announce. Just how founded are those fears that an outcome could destabilize the country? Well, it's pretty, it's pretty worrying, especially for uh, the ordinary uh, people here, uh, especially in the, in the capital, Buangui. Uh, many of them were hoping that this election would uh, bring to an end the violence that uh, had been going on and that uh, uh, it will unite the, the communities here, both the Christian uh, and the Muslim uh, population, and that finally peace and stability would be uh, restored. But uh, as it is at the moment, they are watching closely. Uh, they wouldn't want you know, the situation uh, to get out of control, uh, and therefore they say they will just be uh, watching closely to, 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 to see uh, what will happen. The most important message that is coming from uh, the local people here is that uh, those who have been defeated probably would have to, to accept uh, uh, and, and concede defeat uh, so that uh, the country uh, moves forward. That update there from Kofa Marenja, live for us from the capital of the CAR, Bangui.